red button. Take the scope off, put the scope back on, drop it, put some dirt on it, <laughs> stick it back on, see how it repeats zero. Alright. Here and here. Taking it off must have really threw it out of whack or dropping it in the dirt. I don't know. We'll play with it some more. See what I did here. When I put it back on, I put the scope all the way back to the back rail up against the rear sight. So that's why I got so high. And then I did a couple rounds of aiming down here to make the difference up. Set the scope up where it needed to be. And my point of impact is right backward. That's close enough. Little AR7. I think that's about as good an accuracy as 
most any it's always been a complaint everybody says all oh, they're inaccurate but I don't know how much more accuracy you want out of a rifle designed to come apart and go back together um, this little red dot really works good for me when my eyes aren't what they used to be but I don't know it's some Chinese knockoff it was like 19 bucks at the box store can of green Krylon and you know it really works good um, so anyway we'll keep playing with it keep filming it oh they are seven butt if you don't carry it as a pack rifle you know everything inside it got some interesting storage um, actually quite a bit of room in this thing um, the typical little pocket kits that a lot of people carry you know all the same goodies go in Still a lot of room in there. Um, you can change it up, you know, the Otis cleaning kit without the steel rod. Tucks in there right nicely. You know, pocket chainsaw. Lots of room that way. Uh, some things that won't fit. It's close. I really like these for putting Backpack and fishing kits in, you know, just an old CCI cap. Big Altoids 10. Nope, ain't gonna go. The little ones, you can drop, uh, I think it's six of the little ones in there. I'm gonna turn them up this way and they'll drop right in. Um, anyway, lots of fun. Just, what all can you pack in yours? <laughs>